Hey guys, welcome to another figure review, and today we're going to take a look at the new Star Wars The Black Series Kylo Ren figure from Hasbro. So the figure comes in this open window box packaging, and on the top of the box we get the logo Star Wars The Black Series, on the bottom right corner we get the image of the character, and on the bottom left corner we get the name of the character. And on the right side of the box is just a red bar with the name, and the number that he comes in this series, which is number 3. And on the back of the box, we get a brief description of the character. So that's a look at the packaging. Now let's take the figure out and take a closer look at it. And here's the Kylo Ren figure right out of the packaging. Now right away, it looks like a pretty decent figure. Now before we take a closer look at him, let's take a closer look at the accessories that he comes with. So the only accessory that he comes with is his signature three-bladed lightsaber. Now this thing looks great. I love the lightsaber hill. I really like the shadow effect that they have on the hilt. I like the details that they put into the lightsaber. I really like that. Like there's some gold paint right here. And on the bottom of the lightsaber hill, it has this red spot right here. And I really love the plastic that they use for the lightsaber blade. I really think that's a really good um red plastic. And you can see that the lightsaber blade has a little bit shine to it. And you can see it's a little bit translucent. I really love that. And I really like the detail marks that they put into the lightsaber blade. I think that looks great. And the reason the two blades are attached to the main blade is because that you can actually detach it from the hilt. So it's actually removable. And now there's the lightsaber blade. And now you can actually have the figure hold on to the lightsaber hilt without the blade. And you can just pose it without the lightsaber blade. Now there's no place to store the lightsaber hilt. But what you can do is that you can actually um, store the hilt underneath the bell. But otherwise there's no place to um, place the lightsaber hilt on him. So we take a look at the accessories that he comes with. Now let's take a closer look at the figure itself. So let's start with the head. The head sculpt looks great. It looks movie accurate. I really love the design of it. Especially with this figure because you can pull back the hood and you can reveal his whole helmet. I love the helmet design. I think it looks great. Especially the back. The back has a similar design to Darth Vader's helmet. I think that looks great. So underneath his helmet, he has like this um dark plastic scarf around him with a cape at the back. I think it really works with this figure. I really like the texture that they put into the cape. I really like that and all the wrinkles in the front. I really dig that. So on his chest, he has like this belt and it's all like this smooth plastic. It goes all the way around as you can see in the back. It's just a belt. But in the front, there's like this um, belt buckle which is painted silver with some detailed design on it. I think that looks great. And the arm looks great. They had like this um, um rigged um texture design on it. And on his head, it looks like he's wearing a black glove. And same as the other side. So the whole figure is covered in this like um, nice soft cloth. I'm really glad that they used this kind of texture on this um, figure. Because I think it works better with the soft texture cloth than plastic cloth. Because I think it works better with this figure. Now going all the way down. Underneath the cloth, there's his um, plastic um, robe that he's also wearing underneath, which also has the same design as the hands. I think that looks great. It's um, very flexible, and under it is his legs, and the legs look great. I like the wrinkles that they put on his leg, and I really love the boots that he's wearing. It looks very shiny. I really like that, and I like the wrinkles that is all over this, I, especially on the boots. And here's the other leg with the wrinkles and the shiny boots. And he has two peckles at the bottom of his feet. And the figure stands at near 6 inches tall. And for comparison, here he is standing next to the First Order Stormtrooper. And you can see that they stand near the same height. Now let's take a look at the articulation on this guy. The head is on the ball joint so he can look left and right. Cannot look up and down because of the scarf uh, underneath his chin. The arms can go outwards that much because of the scarf he's wearing. It can go up and down. He has a single joint elbow with swivels at the elbow. And he has swivels at the wrist. And his hand can go up and down like he's throwing dice. He does have an ab crunch. All you have to do is bend them that far down. And he can bend back all the way that far but not much. And he does have a waist swivel. All you have to do is pull under um, the robes. And all you have to do is grab his two legs and twist. He has an upper thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees. His foot can kick up and back that much and it has ankle pivot. 
All right, so there's my review of the new Star Wars, the Black Series Kylo Ren figure from Hasbro. Overall, I think it's a great figure. I, I think collectors and kids will love it. I love the details on this figure. I think they did a really good job with it. And I overall love the claws that they put on this. I think it works great. So there you go guys, there's my review on the new Star Wars The Black Series Kylo Ren figure from Hasbro. So if you like this video or you want more reviews like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, I am Toy Ninja, and happy hunting my friends, and have a nice day.